Hey guys, welcome back to the EA Sports FC 24 Wolverhampton career mode. And right here, last 10 hours in the January transfer window, we haven't made any signings yet. And do we need improvement? That's the thing. The answer is probably not because we only lost one game so far in this campaign, which is again, very, very positive. But again, we got 31 million to spend. So why not just spend it on somebody potentially helped us to have another option on the bench here and there and again i think having a striker would be a good good idea at the moment but i have a wild idea why you know should i bring back olivier Giroud for just for the sake of it i mean 11.5 million that's the thing it's it's not worth it but do we really want to have fun? I really do want to have fun. I mean, he is cheaper than Bellotti, cheaper than Beto. I was thinking about signing Beto, but then I saw Olivier Giroud is available. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and sign him up. I know you guys probably don't like this idea, but personally for me, uh, he was one of my favorite players back in the Emmers era a few years ago. Uh, again, he he might miss a lot of chances in real life. But again, he's a very underrated striker. And AC Milan is trying to offload the 38-year-old. Oh my god. I think 10.5 million. Yeah, I'm screwing it, guys. Like, whatever. I don't care. I just want to get your root into the team. And that's a reasonable offer. And it looks like we're moving on to the next stage, which is the negotiation part. I think this is going to be a big one as well rotational player important that's the thing i can't really guarantee that but i know he's gonna have a year or two left he might be retiring the next season i'm just gonna do a two-year deal oh he is okay with it i'm loving it <laughs> you know what i just want to keep him for the sake of it and there you go olive Giroud. like you don't say his name anymore because he's getting older and older every year yeah i would have done i would I would definitely say his name 10 years ago when I started, you know, career mode back then. But it's different bringing old men back into the Premier League. There you go. Oh, my God. I, I, I don't know what to say, but I'm very, very excited to use him in some occasions. Another player I'm looking to bring in, and that is Hans Hanta Boy. 77 rated, 31 year old, playing for Atalanta at the moment. I mean, that's the thing. We really do need a bit of depth on the right side. Again, we already have two, Castinha and also Maga, but it's not the worst idea to bring another you know, experienced player into the team. 7.4 million, I believe that would be, that would do it. So let's try to do that. And I believe we still have a little bit of money left. And the problem is, how do we want to spend that money? So 7.5, I think that will definitely satisfy the valuation uh, for Hatabore. 7.8, I'll just take that. I don't want any hifty nifty. But there you go. Hatabore could be our next signing. It's all down to the contract negotiation. I don't think it should be anything too complicated I want to be a rotational player which is absolutely amazing two years deal again once the deal goes out uh they're pretty much done this is the problem 40k a year 100 thousand signing bonus okay you know what just take the money and there you go hunter Bore will be our final signing in the january transfer window we have received a transfer offer for Anthony Gordon from Benfica. Of course, also another player in exchange. By the way, um, a team and a WAP. It's thinking about doing a swap deal with me. Uh, I didn't respond that in time, which is totally fine. I'm not looking to sell him. Uh, but Anthony Gordon, my thoughts on him. Again, I know in real life he's not going to sign for Wolves. At the same time, I feel like I want to improve the left, you know, the left-sided option. And that's the thing. I feel like the left winger role should be more of a prophylic player in there. But so far, Anthony Gordon hasn't been quite delivered that much. So I'm not thinking about selling him at the moment. Or maybe in the summer I will. And I hate to be that guy because I thought the um, the transfer window, it's done for us. But I just looked down and I saw um, Costas Manolas. 
Why not just sign him? 33 year old, 76 rated. We just need to add experience and depth into the team. I thought, why not just, why not just use this window to sign veteran players, right? I mean, they're not going to ask for playing time, which is totally fine. I have no problem with that. So they can stick with the squad. They can, you know, help and train the youngster if they can. Uh, why would they want to add a sell on clause on a player like him? totally baffled about that 3.3 million for Manolis and let's see what Tofino has a Torino has to say about it they said yes I'm very sure that is not Torino but it looks like it's one of those batches and final part and I promise you guys this is going to be the last signing of the window he might be very expensive to be honest but rotational player totally fine by me uh two-year deal and down to negotiation as for pay increase i don't really give a damn get that player and we got three veteran players none of them are below 30 euro and the oldest we have signed is actually olivier Giroud, 38 euro and then 33 year old uh manolis and also 31 year old i had to boy we have a loan offer coming in for melvin jensen early in the last episode i was thinking about loaning him but i didn't respond their offer in time but if there's a second chance for him i'll certainly do so i'll definitely want to let him go and have uh you know a bit of a playing time elsewhere and the deal is going to go through as an f oh, don't even think about it manchester united get out of here they took enough of our players i'm not gonna give them another player of our own and jansen it's you gotta be kidding me it didn't go through it didn't even go through then what's the point what is the point game? I really don't understand. But uh, first of the year, I believe so. No, February 1st. Not January 1st, but February 1st. It's here. And is there any players that should get our attention right now? You see, I don't think so. I mean, this is not my focus right now. So i probably just going to leave it to it. And in terms of you staff, uh, why not send another assignment out? I think this time, let's go back to England uh for local talent nine months it's totally fine Frederick chambers is gonna do a very good job for us but first game we have here uh, is forest green i don't think i've played against them before but we've got four games to go today because again the majority of the first part of the episode has been dedicated to the transfer window but we got forest green in the first game and the newcastle away uh northern forest at home and also west ham away a lot of you guys might be wondering what is going to be a lineup, and the lineup is here. Meyer in goal, back five, we got Doughty, Gomez, Manolis, Abreu, and also Hatabore. In the middle, we got uh, Gomez and Fender Beek. Up front, we got Jansen, Olive Giroud making his debut, and look at his pace. 30, an absolute 30. So this is going to be a very, very tough one. Agility is 50, balance is 48 sprint speed is 30 so we're gonna have a long long day ladies and gentlemen so rabia it's starting on the right side Jansen on the ball olivier Giroud, he's very good at laying off and he has done so Jansen is through and with the shot but that was a good push away by the goalkeeper and where's olivier Giroud? here comes Giroud. to Jansen on the left trying to go around the number five to Olivier Giroud, can he win the header? No, it was a little bit too much for him, but I think this is the type of football that you want to play when you have Olivier Giroud up front. Just kind of blast all the ball to him. Uh, he's a very good setup man. He is a very good goal scorer at times. And he also scored a lot of beautiful goals so far in his career. And I believe he is in LAFC right now, but we got some defending to do very early on. It was a good block. And uh, yep. 31 minutes in. We're down by one goal to a League 2 side. That's a good tackle by Hatabore. To Gomez. Sarabia is through. Olivier Giroud and the F score on his debut. 37 minutes in. And what a powerful shot it was. I was a little bit worried that the touch was a little bit too long. Or he wasn't sharp enough to, you know, to turn. But you should never doubt a veteran like his level. Never captaining the side. <laughs> he only knows the team like what? He only knows the team 
in 24 hours and he is already captaining the side and he has scored a beautiful goal uh first of many hopefully he can score 10 goals by the time he retired good tackle by Hatabore. look at this guy Olivier Giroud finding Jensen and there you go one goal one assist for Olivier Giroud and our youngster Jansen has put us through for the lead 2-1 and Hatabore should deserve all the flowers with that play. He has been really, really good in this game. I think he is the brightest of those bunch. Had to boy winning the ball by finding Giroud. Giroud leads it off to Jansen. And with that distance, the goalkeeper don't even think about saving that. Here from Sarabia. Switch it across to Jansen. Good touch. Cuts it inside. Looking for a pass, but it was deflected. Back to Dotti. To Olivier Giroud. Oh my god. Oh wow. That is the golden chance for him to score two goals. And this is exactly how you play with Giroud up top. Here comes Bino Gittens on the ball. Coming off the bench. Curtis Jones. Oh brilliant ball. And there you go. 3-1. Definitely game over this time. Carlos Fobbs coming in. First touch. First goal. Curtis Jones also with an assist. And I'm sure we are through to the next round of the FA Cup. There's Larson on the left. He's going to go down the middle. Looking for a pass. And there you go. Bino Gittens with a goal as well. Uh, two substitutes came on with the goal. And actually, four substitutes came on. And all four of them do have a contribution to goal. Larson with the assist this time. And Bino Gittens with the goal. We got one more in us, I think. Larson. Two fobs. Turn. Oh, God. Come on. Come on, referee. We really want to get that fifth goal. But doesn't matter in the end. 4-1 is the final score. The debutants have been amazing, especially Olivier Giroud. We have received a transfer offer for Gomez from Real Sociedad, but... I'm really not looking to sell right now. I don't think the deal would have been attractive anyway. So just going to reject the deal. And next game, we do have Newcastle United away at St. James's Park. They're sitting at 7th with 34 points. And in terms for us, we're still one goal difference behind Man City. Again, we just got to do our job trying to win as many games as possible for the remainder of the year. And Brian Brobbery uh, has gone to Newcastle United. It's a play that I do admire, but... It's really simply don't have the capacity to sign him in any of my career modes so it's a tough one to be honest but in terms of lineup um it's gonna be a uh, thing it's right i drew their fitness it's not quite there or sharp is not quite there so i decided to leave them you know let them stay home rest and hopefully in the next game they will come back but other than that this is going to be a lineup Kofar in goal back five we got Breno, Hincapié, Dejalo, Arrojo, Castagna in the middle we got Stilla, Navas up front we got Gordon, Cunha and also Conceição. Short corner for Newcastle United but that's a very good tackle by our captain oh my god we just barely keep that one in play Costinha. To Navas, and I don't know where Cunha is. He's going to make his way slowly back up front. That's a good ball. Cunha. Oh my god, that would have been a, another amazing goal. But the touch kind of let him down a little bit. I appreciate the effort, but clearly a player like him has to do better with that touch initially. Corner is out. Conceição whips it in to the far post, but it is going to be cleared away. Nice header. Cunha, Neves, Conceição, nice turn. Oh my god, that was definitely not the movement I was anticipating. But it's still on. Gordon, oh, against his former club. He has to score. How have we not scored a single freaking goal? We have five chances at least. Oh my god, even our defender can do a single damn thing in that area. Oh, no, 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 no. Hincapié against Almiron. Oh, what a save by Kofar, who came out just in time. What a save. Without him, I'm sure we would have lost this game, but got more important things to do with. Wait. 
No, come on. Fobs, got to do better there. And here comes Newcastle United for the final. Oh, God. Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. I believe this is our first, first loss in the Premier League. In the last dying moment as well. Carlos Fobb gave the ball away. And Newcastle United on the counter once again. We've done as much as we can in this game. But offensively, we are so short. Like We're just really bad at times. If I have a world-class left winger or any attacker in the middle, I'm sure we would have won this game by a mile. But Elmo Rom has won it for Newcastle United. And I can hold my hands up and say, hey, fair play. Here's Maga. Whoops it in. And that is it. And I realized that this is our second loss of the season. We lost to Man City. Um, is it in the last game? Is it in the last episode? I believe so. But either way, second loss of the season. But again, we should have done so much better in front of goal. Next game, we got Nottingham Forest at home this time. And in terms of the lineup, this is going to be a little bit interesting because Larson should get a start this time. Cunha couldn't really do a lot last time. But Olivier Giroud will be on the bench. Um, Manolas will be coming on to start as the right center back area. And Tati Gomez replacing Henke Pia. Uh, ooh, to be honest, I think the front three last time doesn't, doesn't quite worked out. So I'm going to change the whole front three as well. I think other than that, this is going to be a line of cold fire and go back five. We got Breno, Gomez, the hollow, Manolas, uh, Costinha in the middle. We got Jones, Neves up front. We got Bino, Gittens, Larson, and Fobbs. Neves, stay close to the man. Don't let him turn. Don't let him shoot. Oh, it's causing a lot of confusion here. But we win it. We win the tackle. Fobbs getting pulled down by number six. But he keeps on going. Has done well though. Curtis Jones to Bino Gittins on the left this time. Ball rolls into the middle. Larson. Fobbs got to finish that. He has to finish that. Hopefully this is a redemption for the last game. Uh, that he lost possession to. Because... This is the type of play I want him to do. I mean, going down to the middle, being able to make decision um, in the middle as well. Larson with the assist this time, but that's a very good finish. To the bottom left corner, goalkeeper got no chance of saving that. And we have taken a 1-0 lead. Oh, come on, Castinha. Stand up. That is, that is way better. Neves. Larson, but he has no support on the left. Waiting for Bino Gittens making the run through. Pulls it back. And Larson makes it 2-0. 38 minutes in. Hopefully this is the decider doing the Marcus Rashford celebration. And we are on to the win here. I mean, we just got to score one more goal at least in the second half in order to, to feel subtle. But again, Castinha uh, was the one who started the whole thing with the tackle. Good tackle by Fobbs. Larson leads it off to him. 1-1 one one with the goalkeeper, and he makes it 3-0. This is certainly the decider. 48 minutes in. This is exactly what I've been telling you about. Got to make sure you got to kill the game. If you score the first goal, I mean, if you only score one goal in the first half, you got to score another goal uh, in the second half. If you score two goals in the first half, then you got to score at least one goal in the second half in order to kill the game instead of just kind of leave it to the last minute. You know, you don't want to create any nerfy moment, and certainly... Carlos Schwab didn't create any nervy moments. But there you go. I believe this is the win. But we might have more goals to score. Costinha. Finding Fobbs who was on a hat trick. Ball rolls inside. Using Olivier Giroud as the disguise. But that's a good save by the keeper. And we're aiming this ball to Olivier Giroud. And there you go. <laughs> this is exactly what I want. I just knocked my phone out. But this is the goal I was expecting from Olivier Giroud. Corner. Corner. If we need a goal from the last dying second, you got to call Olivier Giroud. He's going to produce something, at least off the bench, at least from a corner. Look at that. The elevation, the leap, and everything. The strength. This is exactly why I have Olivier Giroud on the bench. That's a good tackle. 
over the top. Giroud, oh, what a touch. What a touch. Well, you can't really train that, isn't it? It's all about experience. The more you have, the better you are as a player. And technical-wise, Olivier Giroud might not be the best technical player. But when he needs a good goal, he will bring one to you. Oh, no. No. Oh, that's a good save. Good save by Kofar. I wanted my clean sheet, but still, we're quite under threat. Corner coming in. Swings it away. Good turn by Bino Gittins. And there you go. Full time whistle blown. 5 0. Definitely the biggest result. The biggest scoreline so far this season. Last game today, we got West Ham away from home this time. And let's try not to draw this game. We dropped point last time, um, considering they're sitting at 19th or 17th around that area. Uh, I'm not going to do that. I mean, I'm definitely trying not to lose this game or drop any points. But in terms of lineup, ooh, Cunha leading the line maybe. Larson dropped to the reserve. I still love to have Olivier Giroud as an option. Uh, Hatsubore, I want to give him a start. Uh, in this game, I thought he was very bright against uh, not, uh, not Nottingham or Forest Green. And right center back, I want to keep with Fafana, uh, not Fafana, a role. I think this has been, I think this has been a very good matchup here. So this is going to be a lineup. Uh, Co far, it will be in go back five. We got Breno and Capie, Dehalo, a role, he Hetabore. In the middle, we got Jones and also Neves. Up from we got Gordon, Cunha, and also Conce Sal. Nice tackle by Gordon. Cuts it inside to similar play. Oh, please. There you go. Curtis Jones with the goal. And we're taking a one nothing lead. I thought when Cunha missed that chance, um, all the bad memory, just kind of having a flashback for a second. I thought we're not going to score anymore, but there you go. At least we break that deadlock. That's all that matters. I don't care how long it's going to take for us to score the first goal as long as we do. That's all that matters. Oh, come on, man. Like for real? Like for real? What, what, what is that? Kofar, come on. I, I don't know if your vision... what was obstructed let's see uh potentially because there's no way he's getting he's getting left pass with that near post that's a good header oh come on jones good tackle from behind gordon navas conse sal good ball and cunha oh there you go the lead and goal right before halftime, but that's a very good assist by Conte Sal finding Cunha despite having tons of players in front of him. He broke he broke the line and he scored. Look at this replay once again. It was a good play, drawing all the defenders out of position, and Cunha with a first time finish. Here comes a corner, finding Olivia Giroud. There you go. He just came off the bench five minutes ago. And he has scored a winner. The third goal today. Oh my lord. I think I made one of the greatest. One of the greatest signing I've made, isn't it? I think this is his third appearances of the season. And he scored three goals. Is it three goals? Has to be. Or maybe more. Maybe three or four. I totally forgot about the first game. But he is... <laughs> He got it. Oh my god, he still has it. 38 year old. Don't ever judge a book by its cover. It's Roberto. Oh, that's a good tackle by Braino. And we move again. Bino Gittins. Quick one two with Giroud. He's gonna switch us across to Hatabore. Not a good one, but I'll take that. And Giroud. Oh my lord. Oh wow, what a goal. And every time when he take a shot, it's so satisfying for some reason. I just know once I press the square button, the shoot button, I just know it's going to go to the back of the net. Look at that play. It was Curtis Jones actually leading it off to Olivier Giroud. I mean, I wish they have nine substitutions option on the bench. Uh, or else I would definitely include Giroud and also Larson on the bench. But I think the game it has ended here. 4-1. We have scored nine goals in the Premier League in the last two games. Certainly a very good result.
that is the end of today's video, and I hope you guys enjoy. I uh, hope you guys remember Olivier Giroud, one of the greatest striker alive in this whole generation. Certainly love this player. There's a reason why I bring him back, and uh, for the past few games that I played, that's the reason why. I mean, he is so clinical in front of goals at times, especially coming off the bench. He has been really, really good. So uh, that is it. Uh, summary of the game. We, we, we play, what, four games today and also made three uh, veteran signings. Certainly a very productive one as well. So that is it. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like this video. Subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys in a bit.